Uh, my name's John Bergman. Uh, I'm an artist, I draw stuff, I make stuff, I um, try and have fun. For no reason, I moved to New York. The, the reason is that I guess it's interesting and there's a lot of fun stuff that happens there, but um, I had no real purpose to, to go there. Um, but I did that just because I thought I should do something and I wanted to disrupt the kind of comfortable life that I'd built for myself in the UK. Off the back of that, um, I had a good friend in New York and he sort of persuaded me to be in a band with him. And so that started a whole new project of learning how to play an instrument, learning how to write a song, learning how to stand in front of people and not wet yourself on stage and sort of keep it together. And, and um, so I did that for a few years. It's very different to the other work, but I thought it's still a creative endeavor. I'm still sort of um, learning new skills and applying stuff I already know, and it's taking me out into the world and meeting different kinds of people. So I thought it was all similar things, but different things. So it's still in, in a creative sphere. I think if you're a creative person, that comfort is a killer that we get, you know, if you um, preempt exactly what you're going to make every time, then, um, then where's the excitement? Where's the danger? It's like um, we don't want to fail, but the fact that there's a very real chance that you might fail keeps you on your toes. But if it's super easy every time, then I think you just get lazy and... Um, you won't really, your work won't grow or develop, and it's, I swear, I think it's really important to just keep, keep moving, moving with it. There's an analogy I read in a book about a rock climber, and that when you slip when you're rock climbing, then you refocus, like, uh, you know, 100% more, because you, you know that you might, you know, fall down. So it's like that, we, we, it's good to have those little slips and bumps in the way, and sort of refocus our um, attention. Since I've been in New York, I've been, I guess, exposed to a lot of new stuff, things I wouldn't ordinarily see, and I do sort of pinch myself every once in a while, like, Ooh, look at this, I'm going under a big bridge on a ferry and the sun's coming down and Manhattan's all lighting up and it's all very cinematic and beautiful and wow, this is, I wouldn't get this back home. And, uh, and I'm not really sure how that's fed into my work, but it must do, because we're all products of our surroundings and our, our things. And, um, I think its its effects will be felt for many, many years. It's about consuming all this creativity and culture and stuff and food and pizza, a lot of pizza, and everything around. And then it's filtered through into my work. It just will, it just will happen. But maybe it's not really for me to sort of say, that's because I live in New York and that's because, because I wouldn't have done it the other way. I wouldn't have gone, look at all my work. I've been based in the UK all my life. I don't know, you know, so we'll have to see.